All right guys, gonna do like a how-to video and it's gonna be just a uh, change of tire on my truck here. Sounds kind of stupid, I know, but and there's probably already videos on YouTube on how to do it, but I'm just gonna be another one to the collection. The truck's a pretty hurting unit right now. It's got a pretty well, the, the, I think it's got the max life out of these BF Goodrich. I think they're timing to retire, but we're gonna put a spare on it for now. I gotta put a battery in this truck too, so, but I wanted to show you where the spare, uh, like the jack and all that stuff is. Just in case you don't know or you're wondering where it was because I was kind of that same person about eight years ago. So let's walk around the truck here and I'll show you. On a super crew cab, you just go to the back here and you have to lift up your seat and there's a compartment down in here. You got to pull out the, the boot here. So here, here's your jack. All your jack and all your stuff will be inside this. And it'll be tucked up under in here. So you got to, you have to loosen off these, uh, these like T or uh, these wing nuts. There's one up here and there's another one closer to the passenger side. You'll have to lift up the seat and unscrew that. And once you get both of those unscrewed, you can slide it out. And then you have to kind of just play with it a bit just to get it out. It's in there kind of tight, but they give you enough room to take it out though. And just so you guys know, uh, anybody that's got an F-150 back here, it does, uh, it's not sealed off. So there's a hole there. You can see it's daylight through it. Just in case it ever like somehow got water back here. It's a nice little drain, drain hole. Or if you wanted to store stuff back here, it goes back there pretty deep. You know, also once you once you put the boot in you can even put stuff way back in here it goes back, goes back there pretty far can't really see but yeah I've had no issues with anything flooding out or nothing in here so yeah if you're looking to hide stuff I guess <laughs> so yeah like I said pull out the boot and then you can just slide forward and then turn this over like that and then uh, oh, wrong way that there it's a little case you just take the clips off pop them off there oh. you got your jack in here and what have you all right so I'll just get into another video here in a sec I'll show you how all this stuff here kind of works Hey guys, how's it going? So, last time I left you guys, I was uh, showing you where the case was for your jack. So, in the case, you got three bars here. You got one and two, or sorry, three. you got four. One, two, three, four. So, two of them you have to connect together. There's a little, uh, just pull it out like that, push the thing down. Well, anyways, it comes apart, so it goes in like that. Okay, so this is what you want to do. So you got that little slot in there. And if you put this in, there's like a little funnel where it guides you right into. It's hard to see it. And kind of. Right like that. Okay, now you just kind of got to wiggle it around, and then feel it lock in. So now you get this part here. Again, just push down on this here, and just right in there. Lock that in like that. Okay, so this is where you get your uh, your wheel wrench. So you just put it through the hole. Oh, uh, yeah, go through the hole, and then kind of just loop it around like that. 
and go right to the squared off area, just like that right there. Okay, I'm just gonna set you guys up here. Basically you just twist this and keep twisting until your tire lowers right down. This one's been up there for a while, so it's gonna be kind of might be a little stuck a little bit. Yeah, you just keep twisting it like this, pretty much, just like that. You guys are getting the picture there. Just tires coming down. push it because it's probably stuck up against something. This tire has been up there for eight years so okay just like that we're on the ground. Okay so that's how you do that part. Okay guys, once you uh, once your tire is down on the ground, you're probably going to need an extra set of hands just to get the mechanism that holds it up in there, out, and let me show you how to do that. So basically you just have to make sure you put it right through the center, sideways, just like that, and this too kind of goofy but okay just like that and now you're ready to pull your tire out Alright guys, I'm just going to set you up here and show you what to do next. Basically just take that uh, long rod and hook it into the jack there. So grab like that. And you got to put your... Uh, your T handle on the on the back side again and just crank it up.
Yeah, so just like that, right on the end, and yeah, just start cranking it up. Okay, so we got the spare on there. Just make sure when you tighten these down, you do it in a crisscross pattern. Don't go, don't tighten it in a circle because you'll, you could uh, warp the, the wheel or the, or the, the threads or something like that. Yeah, so that should be it for now, guys. Thanks for watching this little, this little video I put together. Cheers. Okay, so to put these together, all you do is you push down on these clips here, and that causes that to go down, and you can just slide them right in. Just like that. And that's how you lock them in. You just do the same with the rest. You want that in, you leave that one like that, and you want the hook on the very outside. Just like that. And that's that right there. Okay, I just want to show you guys where the that rod goes. So, so there's your that's on the outside of your bumper right there, and there's like a funnel right there. You put it right inside that funnel, and you keep putting it in there until it. You twist it a few times until it feels like it's locked. Okay, I think we're good there. So now you just basically. You wind that up in reverse just to bring your cord and your mechanism back up tight into the spot again. Right up in there. That that piece. And that's all that's how you do that. And just it's just reverse of how you lowered your tire down, that's all. Okay, so yeah, right there that'll lock into once you wind it up and then stick your rod in there to wind it up. Alrighty. Okay, just like that. And when you do that, you can just feel it kind of snug up while you're tightening it. Tightening it, sorry.